Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's this me here again. If you're the first one coming by the channel, I'm not Sarah sure Cool. I'm a nurse and an entrepreneur based in the UK. Alright, so yeah guys, officially this is my first tip and chit chat in this apartment. I haven't really had like uh, any chit chat video here ever. And this is my sitting area. So this is like a proper first official part first video for this year yeah yeah first video for this year and my first chit chat video for this so i should tell you guys happy new year <laughs> at this point so <laughs> even though it's february happy new year guys so yeah we're <laughs> wait for back to another video here so this year is going to be i said this year sorry <laughs> This video is going to be in two parts. So uh, the first part, I'm going to be talking about my experience. If you guys remember, I told you about my experience at the Nigeria consulate in London and how it didn't go well. I was showing you guys uh, a gist from that from that visit, and then I have uh, uh, an item, like some items I got from pretty little things, and I'll uh, it should be like a haul. So yeah so it's going to be in two parts the first part is going to be talking about my experience in nigeria consulate and then the second part is going to be the the hall yeah okay so without wasting much time let's get right into this gist <laughs> so <laughs> you guys <laughs> if you remember i have a video i have a clip not a clip a video when i moved when i first moved here um i and my friend temple were trying to get things from the concierge upstairs and i showed you guys i picked up my passports yeah so <laughs> i finally got my passport and um the journey to get this passport okay this is a new one and this is the old one the journey uh, the trials and tribulations <laughs> I was true <laughs> to get this passport. Look, it's not funny, but at this point, I can laugh about it because I mean, I've passed all that hurdles and now I've got the passport and now I can laugh about it. But then it wasn't funny at all. Okay, so I started this journey of a renewal of passport last year, 2023. I started in February because it was going to expire in October. So, and I had some, I had a couple of holiday plans uh uh within the year i had two holidays planned within the year that i want to go to one was malaysia and one was montenegro which already have been and i decided to start on time to process my passport because i knew even though some people were saying oh it doesn't take time to come out i knew oh it's an Nigerian thing it might take like forever but i didn't know it was going to take like it was going to take me through that process like it was going to turn out that way it was horrendous guys so i started in february i applied and i got the date in june so june 1st was my uh, appointment for uh biometrics and the rest of them so i paid made payment everything and registered and then i already had my i already had my uh my what's it called what's that pin my national identification number i already have that one it was easier for me to like get across the registration process and then get to the point of payment so fast forward to me going to my, to get to my brp and everything everything was fine and they have appointments although getting there the queue was massive like on the i have i think i have a vlog about like going for my uh, biometrics and everything i have a vlog about that which i'll link to this the video in, in the description box so uh i did everything i did my biometrics everything was fine and um the date for for collection so usually they send it to you after you after you re you renew the passport when it comes out you get posted to you when you uh when you pay uh, 20 pounds postal card and everything they send it back to you so they post it to your address you need to come and pick it up from the office so i did all of that and um was meant to be posted to me in august 
remember my appointment my, my appointment was January June 1st that was when my biometric uh, was June 1st and I was meant to get it August yeah no I was meant to get it I think it's July I can't remember but I think it's three weeks three to, three to six weeks from the day of biometric and some people also for some reason trying to get there is like two weeks one week yeah and then um, June, July, I was supposed to get to the like ending of July. That was that was the date that was on on my collection slip. And I had a lady I met on 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 that day. Uh, she was on my back basically. So I was forty five, or she was forty forty six or something. Yeah, I can't remember about that fifty or forty or what something. Yeah. So we're in contact. Like, oh, have you gotten this? Have you gotten any, any feedback? Stuff like that. So we're talking, and then she said. I think has she got hers in August or something there about she got hers in August because after a month we became like really impatient because we were really, like past deadline the the collect the day we were supposed to get it and then there's this portal they have for like um checking the progress of the passport like where it the stage that at each point so I was checking that that but that but that bit is really is really like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but it happened. It's just rubbish. Anyway, so she, she got hers in August, and she told me that she already gotten her passport. And I was like, I haven't gotten mine yet. And then she was like, Okay, give it one more week, and then if not, then just go back there. And um, I didn't. I, I didn't just want to just go go to, to the Nigerian consulate just like that because it's like I was living in North Wales when I started that process, and it's like it's a it's a long journey. Cause I had to like stay in someone's house uh, a day before my appointment. They were to meet up with the time before, when I went to my appointment, and then going there just like that, I I couldn't just go for that journey. Like I can't just go to London from North Wales. It's just really really fast, about five to six hours. So I was just I was just patient. I was just waiting, and um, I know I left I left Bangar, um, twenty twenty three August yeah and that period i was i was really like worried because i know that if i'm going to be leaving the address that is on my uh postal card is is banga so that was on my mind and i was thinking oh i will still get it like before i leave i didn't get it and i had to move so uh i was just saying like whatever it happens like whatever happens i will see how it goes and then there was this tracker they put the this tracker you really put on your passport like when you when you when you when you uh when you they put the tracker for you to like track your post on the uh on the site that's that your real me basically so I, I i was checking that tracker but it wasn't like moving at all and then i had to like relocate from Bangar to liverpool in august and i started my job in in september so I I booked and um unfortunately that week I moved. It was the following week that it was sent. So it was my birthday. Um my birthday was on the on the sixth of September and I I I was just like just let me just check this. Like it was was I becoming so long. June, July, August, September was like four months. So I checked the tracker and I and I found that that the the passport has been posted so banger and then they tried like they, they usually try like three attempts and then if they, they, there's no one that they have to pick it up they'll send it back to the sender so, that's and that's so cringe <laughs> the first day, like, yeah but they usually just send it back to whoever that sent the, the parcel and it's like priority so they can't just like drop it off uh at your doorstep they have to give it to someone so um i checked the the track and i found out that it has been sent back to london because there was, there was no one to like pick it up from them so i had to go but that was my birthday i had to go back like the following day i had to go to london the following day mind you by then i was already like in liverpool this is this is september i was already in liverpool so i went to i went to uh Nigeria consulate the second time on the 7th of september to pick up my passport my supposed dead passport I got I got there and it, okay, now going from Liverpool is no longer like far it's far like going from North Wales like three to four I think three to four hours yeah two to three hours basically 
And um, I got there and I I told them about the whole story, showed them the evidence, everything, and they were like, oh yeah, you're lucky and all of that shit. <laughs> Forgive my language. Yeah, so they gave me they gave me the passport. Long story short, they gave me the passport. And I opened the passport and I found out that okay, this is not mine. So the person had my surname and my first name, but we didn't have the same second name, that like the middle name. And then the other information on the passport was totally totally different, different pictures, different address, different age of birth, and all of that. And I took it back to the mouth that same place. I took I just told it that this is not me, this is my passport. And I was like, how so? And I was like, is this what was posted to me? Like normally he was like, Yeah, that's that's what was posted. I'm like, this is not my passport. This is not this is not mine. And then he was like, Oh wow, this doesn't really happen like that. Like that sorry, blah 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 blah. That what will happen, I should get another postal uh, order from the uh, from the post office and I come back to the consulate. I did that thinking, oh, it's gonna it's not gonna take time. And he said to me, Oh, you won't take that for this. So he said I should get the postal order and I and I did that and it was like, Oh, it won't take time for them to like send it to me because the force is from them. I was like thinking, oh okay, is this the good this is the good thing? Well, at least won't take up to like three weeks for me to get it. I did that, gave them the postal uh, card, returned the old one to them, and went home without my passport. Mind you, this is the one time I'm going to London. Then um, I waited. This this happened September 7th, and then September passed. I didn't get my passport, and um, I I took the, the the contact of the of the guy that. I told me this story of buying another postal card and all of that. I took his content. I was trying to like get in touch with him because he was the one like dispensing the, the passport on that day. And I, I was like, calling. he was like, he told me that I should not worry that I, I will get it before the end of the week. That's what he told me before I went home. So I was really getting like, he's like, what's all this? Yeah. So he said I shouldn't worry again before the end of the week. End of the week passed. I think my passport. The world of September passed. I didn't get my passport. October, mind you, I was, I was. <laughs> this passport caused a, caused an issue for me when I was going to when I was going to Malaysia, which I had a, a vlog of, about it. And um, October passed. I didn't get my passport. And then I, I went back. I went back. I had a trip I wanted to go to in November. I think it was Morocco or something. I can't remember. But yeah, I had a trip I wanted to go to. And I wanted to apply for my Schengen visa. I think it was Greece I wanted to go to. And I needed a Schengen visa for it. And I can't apply for Schengen visa if I don't apply. If I don't have a passport. I mean, if my passport doesn't have up to like a year in it. And this part was already expired. So I didn't even bother applying because I can't get it. So there was a whole lot of things I wanted to do. I couldn't do it at that point, and it was really, really. It got. I got really, really angry. I went back to Nigeria consulate in was it December? I think I went either December or or, or November before because I didn't want the year to end. So I went the end of November. Um. Then I went there really, really pissed. I went to my friend. This was this was the third time now. I uh, I was going there. I went with my friend, and um. I remember, I remember that day because I had to go to, 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 to London for, I, was, I had to go to London for, I think it was a Nigerian Nurses in UK um, um, program or so, it was a party, yeah, end of the year party that we had to go to. When was it, when was it again? I can't remember, I think Southford or something, I can't remember the place, but yeah. We went for the, the the party and then I had to go from the party the next day to the Nigerian consulate. I remember vividly now. So on that day, I went there. I went there really, really pissed. I was like, I didn't even like, you know, at the entrance, if you've been to the Nigerian consulate in London, at the entrance, there are people there that will stop you and say, oh, direct where you're going now. And you have like a queue outside, already like waiting, even at 7 a.m. when you go there. But on that day, I was really, really pissed. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even look at anybody. I was just like, straight, I just marched straight inside. My friend was with me. So she couldn't, she, she didn't, she didn't like go in the right and went in. I went in like a mask. 
No, she was just she was just like very like slow. So they, they didn't let her go in. I remember she been on my back and then someone was stopping me at the entrance, like, oh what happened? I was oh, I was shouting. I was you know how when when you go to Nigerian banks and you, they take your money so off and then you're like angry and ranting. That was literally how I was shouting. Like I was, ha- that it was oh <laughs> god this is this is not funny this is not funny honestly so i on that day i didn't get my passport on that day after all of all of that that i did i didn't get my passport on the boat. i really expressed my feelings how i felt because i was really this was november like towards ending of the year so it was like something i started doing early enough because I, I feel like if I, if I start early i'll get it early enough and then this is like end of the year i don't still have my passport i mean and this fault is from you guys like you are the one that gave me someone so like imagine like the height of incompetence like how can you give someone else someone else's passport at that point i was thinking about so many things this person could have my passport and i have this person's passport and you know, you get me. So on that day, because of, because of the way I was acting up and everything, I uh, they heard my voice and they were like, "Oh yeah, can you calm down? They can't try to calm me down all that." They were like, "Oh yeah, I should just be patient and just wait in this particular section." And if you go to Nigerian consulate, you know that when they tell you to wait, you can wait there from morning to night. Like you can wait there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you guys need to do better. And uh, I can't, I can't tell. My mouth can't tell what I saw in that place. Like people were shouting, people were angry. There was this man that was, there was, there was this clip that I have. Yes, I have, a, I have a vlog. <laughs> Just funny how I have a vlog for all of this experience at each point. Yeah. So I have a video I made on that day, like me going there and all of that. So. People were like really, really pissed. We were like, pissed. Like old men talking about their experience, how they were stopped, how they had to do the e for something. I can't remember what what that all. I think that like that's like if you have like an expired passport and you can't go back to Nigeria or something like that, you use it to travel or something like that. Not even people that are like British citizens say like it was still like hard to get their passport. Then there was this woman, I can't forget that lady. She, her hands was like a year. Guys, one year. She hasn't gotten her passport. And she was still shouting. <laughs> God. <sighs> ah. Anyway, I sat there and then at the end of the day, I didn't get it. So I they took me to the office of one of their orgas, supposedly. I went there and then he was like, Oh, yeah, sorry, blah 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 blah. That um this was this half this is uh, this is around five mind you i went there in the morning around seven eight o'clock because you have to get there on time this now happened around five at night i'm already famished angry like i'm already drained like then it was i was like does this happen like all the time like does do you guys really give people people's passports to other people and then he said oh no is in rare case it doesn't really happen it happens in one in hundred passports that it could be is from the computer and it could have like some issues with the computer and, and, and all of that which which is okay i mean computer can make mistakes at, at some point so which is fine but then what the problem now was is now afterwards you guys response to that situation it should be rapid because i mean this is this is something coming from your end you should have measures in place that you take to to make sure like this this thing is like is che- is checked and the person is like uh, responded to ASAP. I'm not waiting like another month. Like it's just so terrible. And then you, after his explanation, I was like, okay, what's going to happen now? What's going? What am I going to do? And then he said, oh, he doesn't really know. He will talk to their tech. They will talk to their tech guy and they will see what will happen. I was like, what? <laughs> like you mean you don't know what is going to happen so what's going to happen to me like i can't travel you know what like what what, what? <laughs> yeah. 
at that point i wanted to lose it again i'm like maybe i could just put it together put it together because when when something happens and then it, and then there's measures in place like to 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 like ease the situation or to um to take care of that situation at that point at least you the customer we're not telling you this thing at least you you you'll be like that are satisfied at some extent you'll be like okay yeah oh, we're sorry about this but this is what's gonna happen this is gonna happen and you get this this is that nothing nothing like that was what was making me more angry like if you don't know what what's going to happen then what's going to happen to me what what assurance am i am i going back home with that what that like they had no plan like if this something, something like this happens this is what this is what usually happens like i was like does this mean that you guys don't know what you are doing or what like you you gave me someone else's passport and you don't know what what's going to happen to, to me to my passport so what i don't understand like that he got <laughs> anyway at the end of the day i i took another person's contacts from that place so he was the tech guy the supposed tech guy that was going to help with the issue uh speak to abuja call abuja get them to change the details and all of that so i already have like a number for passport number dispensed for my passport so the, the issue was now the information the details in there wasn't mine so it was like a technical issue or something like that i had to like sort it out from the end so i took the guy's number and and um that was the only thing i did that day like just get someone's contacts i didn't get my passport i didn't go i didn't go back with my passport on the third day this is this is ending of november to december and i went back home i went back home and um uh i started talking to the guy i and he'll be like oh yeah at the end of this week let's see what's going to happen i'll call him the end of this week nothing the following week say, oh yeah let's see i was like what, what was all this like it took me like it, to get like emotional like literally like cry do you get so at some point you know the, the, when i when i called the guy i remember this occasion i was in work that day uh, that was that was moving in here i think that was the first time i called the day i moved in here well that was um october was it october no this november december 7th yeah i remember december december 7th um so I asked him so what what is happening at this point he said he doesn't know that he doesn't know what is happening in abuja that he's, he's he's spoken to them he doesn't work in that unit anymore he doesn't really know what's going to happen and when, when they say this thing to you that they don't know what's going to happen i just feel like powerless like i don't i don't have any power like i don't know what like you just feel we just be weak if you don't know what is going to happen then what what <laughs> oh my god oh you guys like i'm laughing now but trust me that on that day i got emotional it wasn't funny so the last straw that broke the camera's back was on like on this day i was at work and um it was already like mid december and i called this i think it's the comic of december I, I called this guy and i was like so what's going to happen what's happening with the passport he was like oh yeah they've produced it they told me they produced it so and they've sent it so the problem now is me now getting the passport i was like okay i have a friend in london that can come at like asap to come and pick up my passport do i send her to come pick it up I said no don't worry it's going to get sent it to you just send me your address blah blah blah, blah. i sent my, my address and then that he said i'll get it before the end of the day no the day passed nothing then i called i called him the next day and i was like i didn't get my passport he was like oh no that the person they sent to 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 send it that and then they've closed for the year that, at that point i lost it like i do even i even, i was just overwhelmed because this, this was that what i was trying to avoid because once they close for the year you can't really do anything the office is closed you won't see anybody when you go there and i was trying so hard I was, and I was, I was telling the guy 
let me send someone to come and pick it up. I don't, I don't want to, this whole thing to linger anymore. It's already December. Let me send my friend to come and pick I don't mind. He said, no, don't worry, don't worry. And I was telling him, oh, yeah, you didn't see anybody to send it to. He thought that they sent it, but they couldn't send I just started crying. I mean, like, literal cry. Like, proper, proper cry. Like, <laughs> I just went to the bathroom first. I was I was at work that I just went to the bathroom. Like I just cried, Papa cried. And what saved me that day? <laughs> I was just crying, I cried. <laughs> so the guy called me back and he heard my voice, like I was really tearing up. I was he was like, sorry, Mr. Maka, are you crying? I was like, why would I not cry? Why would I not cry? You're making me look stupid. No, I was just damaged. And then he was like, Oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he said, At, at that point, I was as if my cry did the magic. Like, he did the magic. That was what made him went. He said, Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'll go myself. I'll go and send it. Don't worry. You get it today. You get it that today or tomorrow. That was it. Though. That was <laughs> And he sent it. This like this just this whole story. I said I was at some point I got tired of hearing the story itself, but I just said that I had to like I had to like say this on this platform because it wasn't it's not really a very good experience. I mean for some people for some people they get their passport within one week. Yeah. Some people two weeks, some people three weeks. Some people that same day. That same day they get their passport that same day. And it's just it's just so sad that even when you're in another country, you get being treated like like nothing. Even when you are not in Nigeria, I, if, and I have I have a friend of mine in, in America, Texas, that said the same thing to me. That in that that their office is just they just do anyhow. I mean, when we in Nigeria, like ever get it right. Even in another country, you say the same thing. Home is done. It's just so it's not something I can't even like start talking about here. It's just so 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 sad. Like we need to do better. We need to do better. Like I don't even know which one is better. Whether it's home or it's, yeah, every Nigerian consulate in every country is just. It's just the same. It just reminds you of home, like how you're being treated when you go to the immigration center, when you go to the banks, when you go to like. It's just really, really sad. Sometimes, sometimes I begin to wonder if being in Nigeria is a crime. Like being in Nigeria is a crime. Although there are some locations where I'm proud to be Nigerian, you may not like. But on in this location, on this location, like, nah. Now, Nigerian consulate, we need to do better. We need to do better. I mean, this is the service I paid for, and then at the end of them, I'm, I'm I'm being treated like, like, like I like I'm begging for it. It's just, it's really really sad. Really really sad. Like, I set up my application in in February, and I got my passport in December. How many months? 11 good months like why why would somebody why would somebody spend such a long time to get their passport renewed like why anyway i have a passport here by the grace of god i've gone for thanksgiving <laughs> i've already been to thanksgiving in church with his passport but it's just, it's just. I, I just advise anybody that is just just trying to like read their passport, like just pray before you start. <laughs> pray really hard, cause this whole thing is just when it start happening like this, you're just wondering, is like what's 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 what exactly is going on? Like what is all this? And the delays that this thing causes you, like the delays it causes you, like what you want to do, you won't be able to do and like, achieve them. Like, and then at the end of it, they don't even have like any 
proper customer care service that you can actually like speak to complain to and all of that. even if you call their phone number it's just i think i need to stop here for this <laughs> i need to stop here this video already gets into 20 minutes i don't want that and i just it's just gonna make me more emotional at the end of it so let's just stop here for this video if you're going to renew your passport i wish you all the best <laughs> wish you all the best and please and please try to set on time and if you have any opportunity i think it's better to be back at home it's faster that way be back at home if you have the opportunity to go back home just do it back at home and get it okay because if you want to go to london to go and do passport it's you and god i think we'll get there faster but i just lord shall be with you <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. Anyway, any 21 going to go in your passport, like I've said before, good luck and be of good courage and the Lord is your strength. Amen. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I've come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any contribution to make towards this, whatever I've said, please, please don't forget to put it in the comment section. And if you have any advice on the best way to go to throw when you are when you are when you're in your past maybe i made a mistake at some point which i know i did not because the mistake is from them yeah i followed all the due process so please if you have any contribution to make on how to make this passport renewal easier for us please leave the comments with this <laughs> leave the comments in the comment section please thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video actually i'm going over to do my <laughs> this that second section of this video which is the whole so stay tuned guys okay